or are they merely perceived as changing because they do all that follow-up? Do people really change behavior, or are they merely perceived as changing because they do the follow-up? And the answer is kind of the opposite of what you might expect. It is much harder to change perception than it is to change behavior. Change of behavior is much easier than changing perception. The best research principle in psychology is called cognitive dissonance theory. We all see people in a manner that's consistent with our previous stereotype. If I have a stereotype of you that says you're a bad listener, I'm going to look for a bad listener until I find it. It is very hard to change perception. And in the NHS, this is very important to you. Because you're not just in the behavior business, you're in the perception business. And sometimes the public gets perceptions about you that may or may not be correct. Doesn't matter. That's their perception, and you have to deal with that's their reality that exists. Now, let me explain why what I just taught you works for changing not only behavior, but for changing perception. Because in my coaching, I don't get paid because I say you've changed. And I don't get paid because you say you've changed. I get paid when everyone around you says you've changed. So I'm actually not just in the behavior change business, I'm in the perception change business. Uh, let me give you a sim simple example. Let us imagine, let's see, that your problem is you make too many destructive comments about other people. I pick that. Your first name is? Elaine. Elaine. I pick that because it sounds so simple to fix. Elaine thinks, well, that's easy to fix. Just quit making the destructive comments and the problem's gone. I don't need to talk to him. I don't need to follow up. It doesn't work. Let me explain why. I'm your coworker. Elaine goes seven months and never makes a destructive comment about anyone. Seven months later, she says, stupid SOBs in finance, idiot bean counters, how do we get anything in this company that's run by a bunch of stupid accountants? You've been in my office. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You've been in my office. You've been in your office. <laughs> I think you just owe one pound for that comment. <laughs> Put in a pound. Come on, cough it up. Let's hear her a pound for the cause now. <laughs> yeah, by the way, back to my commercial director, you see. You've got to watch out the way people talk about these commercial directors. By the way, we have back here at Stand Up, we have a commercial director. She gets a hard time just because of her job title, commercial director. Let's hear it for the commercial director. A little support for her. Very good. Now back to this. She goes seven months and only makes one destructive comment. What's my reaction? She never changed. That one comment will trigger my previous stereotype. She's never changed. Situation B, you talk to me. Coworker Marshall, I want to do a great job of being a good team player, not making destructive comments. I don't believe she's going to change. By the way, everyone I coach, you know what I tell them? If you practice all these good things that I teach you when you begin, your coworkers will probably laugh at you behind your back. They're just going to laugh at you behind your back. They don't believe you're going to change. I have good news, though, for all of us. Our family members will not laugh at us behind our back. They will laugh in your face. <laughs> so nobody thinks we're going to change. Two months later, though, she comes back and says, Coworker Marshall, it's been two months. I said I wanted to be a, a you know, great team player, not make destructive comments. Based on the last two months, give me ideas for the next two months. Now it starts to happen. I go, oh, I never thought about it. You've been doing a great job. Keep it up. It's been four months. You know, it's been four months. I've been paying attention. You brought it up a couple of times. You've been doing a great job. Keep it up. It's been six months. Great job. Seven months, she says, stupid SOBs in finance. I say, you know, coworker Lane, you went seven months without doing that. You shouldn't have said that yesterday. You shouldn't have said that. She says, you're right. I'm going to apologize to the team. Situation A, did her behavior change? Yes. Did my perception change? No. Situation B, did her behavior change? Yes. Did my perception change? Yes. In leadership, it doesn't matter what we say. All that matters is what they hear.